Hello everyone, welcome to Combat Quarter, and with me Mark the Shark Rob, former New Zealand welterweight kickboxing champ, and Shark it is kickboxing that we go to tonight, um, but over the coming weeks we'll be covering boxing and MMA as well, and MMA has a strong presence in the fight tonight as we go way back into the video vault. Yeah, this is a good example of just uh, where that uh, MMA pedigree actually was born and where it came from, you know. So uh, we're going back to 2005. We're seeing Willie Lamb from Strike Force Gym train with a very great trainer and Aaron Boys. And then on the other side of the ring, we've got none other than Eugene Beerman fighting out of Balmoral League Gar under the trainer of champions, Lolo Hamoli. So this fight is a really big fight in our history, in our fight history of New Zealand. And it's um, it, it, this was really important for the fighters too. This opened the door to international fights. Yeah, yeah, very, very important. Willie Lamb comes into it uh, on a free fight winning streak mm -hmm. and uh, he fought some really good fight, uh, uh, fighters. And Eugene had already had a title in his bag. He, he had a, a light heavyweight title that he won in 12 or 18 months before. So everybody can he drop that weight and, and still be as strong as what he normally was? So, yeah, it was an important one, and uh, I think we should go ringside. Well, we've got the New Zealand amateur the middleweight title up for grabs in this one. Willie Lamb up against Eugene Behrman. These fighters need no introduction to combat video viewers, and uh, although we haven't seen Eugene for um, quite some time, we saw Willie a couple of months ago, so... This is going to be interesting, both very, very capable fighters and both um, entertaining fighters too, you know, they've, they've both got a lot of skill, both got a lot of power. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have underestimated Willie Lamb, you know, he's, uh, he is a class act, he's a class fighter, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, Willie, yeah, because of his stature. He looks like he's fighting above his weight because um, of his height and, and he fights in a higher weight division than what a lot of people think he should but he's comfortable there, he's a very good mover and a tricky fighter. Eugene Behrman on the other hand is uh, a fighter that's had some international experience for it overseas, fought in Bangkok and um, more than capable, been around for quite some time and as I mentioned before, an awful lot of skill. Willie fighting out of the strike force gym, trained by Aaron Boys and Eugene out of the Balmoral League guard, trained of course by Lolo Hamuli. No clear pattern developing as yet, They're halfway through the first shark and uh, both yeah. fighters trying quite a few things but the opponent equal to the task in the defence department and yeah just looking for that opening, it's not going to take much is it? Oh strength from Behrman! Well uh, yeah I was just thinking you know Willie there he's throwing uh, you know a bit of everything, overhand rights, big overhand rights left kick to the head, low kicks, he's, uh, he mixes it up really a lot in this first round. So both guys still getting their range just right, but you can sense the danger there, you know, it's definitely there. But both very good at their range. Yeah, this is, this is a fight where the, the first fighter that makes a mistake is going to pay, and could pay dearly. So we go over to Willie Lamb's corner after the first Aaron Boy's in the corner there, of course, uh, very gifted fighter and a talented trainer as well is Aaron. Willie started his career back in 99. Um, this is his 11th fight, 
So uh, he, he, he's the sort of fighter that can disappear from the scene and come back and take up with if he never left it. You know, when he came back and fought at the Papakura there a couple of months ago, um, he looked like he'd never been away from the ring. Yeah, I think there's something natural about him, a natural movement, a natural flow that he just, um, you know, just like some people have got in other sports, he's just got it, you know. He, he could probably go away for 10 years and uh, leave the sport and come back and still have it. Yeah. Eugene, uh, Eugene's st still looks like he's just getting his range right, but he's very, he seems like he's got a lot of strength. Definitely. Free shot to the leg, but the second one wasn't free. It was severely checked by Beerman comes forward and yeah, quick combination left right. Lamb circling, trying to change the angle. And a good counter attacker, Willie Lamb. And I think um, Eugene's already worked that out and he's got a few tricks of his own. Maybe oh, oh some strong knees in there. And once again, that grapple showing his upper body strength is Eugene Beerman. Yeah, he is. He is. He's showing a lot of strength in there, and he's uh, really wanting to mix it up on the inside too. He took the opportunity there. Kim Willie on the outside, and then closing him down. Ooh. Plenty of power in that wind-up kick to the midriff, and some nice knees there from him. But watch. Watch out for the uppercut from Lamb. You think he's really starting to look strong in the grapple. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's starting to enjoy this fight. Oh, lo looping left from Lamb. Eugene, jab and move. That's the thing with Willie, you can throw anything, you know. You never know what's going to come next. Oh, they trade big leather. Both stand their ground. Lamb comes forward. Watch out for the uppercut. Oh, big overhead. Overhand right it was. But Behrman immediately switches tact and comes in with the knee. And oh, excellent work at the end of the round as we go over to Eugene Behrman's corner. And he looked like he was on the receiving end, but cleverly changed the tactics and went to the knees. And good way to end the round for him, Chuck. Yeah, it is a very, you know, you leave the round on a positive note and that's what sticks in the judges' um, mind. Very good round for him and uh, just starting to get the edge in the in the grapple, you know. He's starting to swing the fight his way a little bit. Willie, of course, always dangerous, still looking very dangerous. But Eugene, just looking, uh, keeping his composure, not getting rattled by Willie and just sticking to a good game plan there. Yeah, that, that's not easy to do up against Willie Lamb because he can frustrate the best because uh, his counter-attacking is so good. Just when you think you're getting on top, you walk into something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good tactical battle, and uh, the corner's going to have a, a lot to do with the outcome of this fight, I would think, after two rounds. Eugene looking very strong, too. You know, he's not blowing at all. Look at him in the corner. He's relaxed. He's, uh, he's definitely fit, that's for sure. No doubt about that, and strong. Oh, definitely. Eugene is one of those sort of fighters that um, puts, the, puts the hard yards in. Whoa! Well, fast leather from Behrman. Tip for ten in the jumping kicks. Oh, I'm impressed with the way I, I think Eugene's kicking has improved since I last saw him fight. Uh, he's got that real wind-up kicks now that are having some effect. Boy, oh boy, and looking very strong, still strong in the grapple. You know, I think he's got, I think at that start of that round there, he just sort of uh, got into the, into the battle with Willie Lamb. But uh, I think he... Goes better when he keeps his composure, but putting the pressure on here and back into the knee grapple where he's starting to dominate. Willie looking really to hold on. 
Willie starting to blow now in round three. Yeah, Bevan starting to take the fight to him. Trying to force him up against the ropes. Get into a good grappling position. Closes the gap again, and that's where he goes. get drawn into that battle you know he was uh, he's doing well when he kept his composure and he was doing everything right and little willie's leading him into a battle and i think that could be a mistake yeah willie, willie can be dangerous on the counter but uh eugene is backing himself here tonight and yeah he, he's really starting to hurt that leg. Look, Eugene's starting to get a sore leg. He's, uh, that's where he wants to be if he got a sore leg. Yeah. You know, Willie doing some good damage down low, hitting that leg, and I think uh, he's seen it too. He wouldn't have missed that. Doing some good things there. And if you go, if we look over in the other corner there, not sitting down, you know, which is a good sign of, uh, you know, got sore legs, stand up. Yeah, Willie, I felt Willie was, drew him into a bit of a, into a battle there, and that's going to go to his advantage because uh, he's very quick on the counter. He's just got a natural sort of flow about him. It's, you know, I think he was on the receiving end of that round, and now he's sort of, uh, now he started switching the fight uh, back into his game plan. It's a seesaw in fight. It's a, I'm a bit spellbound by it because um, they're, they're both showing some really good things out there. It's a fierce fight. It's um, there's no room for the faint-hearted out there. That's for sure. And as I said earlier on, you know the tactics. They're gonna they're gonna play a big part in this. Who, who can get get the opponent to play their game? That's a nice kick to start the round by Bearman. But uh, he uh, spotted that leg of the last yeah. round and look at it already going for it. And you watch Willie Luke work that leg. Now he's seen the, he's seen a, a gap. Look, he's already thrown that low kick five times, six times at the first start of this round. He's been given the message. Oh, Eugene comes back with some good punches. Walked into a right hand at the end of the combination. And yeah, once again, Willie Lamb goes down. Oh, said, oh big knee! Well, the change of tactics again, Shark. And Eugene Behrman looked like he got a... Uh, a little bit of uh, response from that sharp knee of his. We're going to give the, the strength department and the grapple to, to Eugene Beerman, but a long way to go in this fight. Nice check from uh, Willie Lamb. Comes back with that kick, and you can see the red knee. Oh! Well, this is what happens if you've got one... Uh, one sore spot, you try and guard it a little bit, something can, else can slip in over the guard. Ooh. Eugene's still steady on the leg, but um, you wonder for how much longer. Good combinations from Behrman. And Willie's taken a bit of punishment to go for that one spot. I think it could pay off. I think it's... Oh! Toughness from Berman as he takes the best shot of the fight. And then he works the body. Says if the knees can't soften you up, we'll try with the leather. And puts Lamb on the back foot. to go with it and we go over to uh, Eugene Behrman's corner this time is it the fifth round you're dead right shark I've lost track <laughs> yeah well what can you say about that round shark well 
<laughs> now they both got something to go for, you know. He uh, worked the body of, of Willie and uh, it started to pay off. But we seen it earlier in the fight when he with a knee and we just thought, oh, that was one that just sort of hurt him a little bit. But I, I think he's uh, nailed him a couple more times there. And we're starting to see there's something something going on there. On the other hand, we've got a we've got a cut there? No, just the shadow there. Uh, we've got a damage on that leg there. You see them icing them up. It's no secret that that leg's sore, so expect to see Willie Lamb. If it's like the last round, he come out 100 miles an hour and smash the leg, he'll do the same this round. Uh, but maybe it's going to be too little, too late. Who knows who they're going to be? Oh, Willie Lamb trying to get the crowd right behind him. There's something I've never seen. This fight means a lot to both fighters. Oh, huge fight! Fifth and final round in the round that the New Zealand Championship will decide on. Let the pitchers do the talking, man. just to slip that time. But an awful lot of reddening on that leg, but Eugene Behrman, he's done his best to disguise it. And another kick goes down that once again tries to work the, work the knees. Oh, and he's trying to, he's working that same spot. Trying to get the knee in there, Willie's doing everything he can not to let yeah. the knee get in. And uh, good reffing from John Conway. He, he's, he's not um, disadvantaging either fighter. Oh, nice little uppercut on the inside. But Behrman goes down to the body again. Boy, both these guys digging deep in the fifth. Oh, there it goes. And Liam in a lot of trouble comes back. And, oh. Good work from Bannon. Unbelievable fight. And how tough are these guys? Well, this has brought the best out of both fighters tonight. Well, these, these are two fighters that always give their best, but I think they've even risen another notch tonight. Oh, and those knees really started to pay. That's the end of it. What a great fight. What a great ripping display by John Conway as well, mate. Oh, excellent, excellent. Excellent fight. Hey, uh, you know, takes two great fighters to make a fight. Definitely a great fight. Got the best out of both of them. Oh, every round we changed their minds. <laughs> Who was on top, mate? It was unbelievable. It's going to be interesting because they both had to uh, really dig deep, you know. There were times in that fight where it could have easily, they could have given up, but they dug deep, both of the guys. Yeah, two, well, two winners in there. Oh, definitely. I, I've lost track of who won what round, that's for sure. A uh, good finish from Eugene Behrman and oh, fantastic guys. because it wasn't only the knees that got through and uh, he, he changed, he threw everything at that torso and that's paid off for him here tonight. Oh, what a great fight. Fantastic. And uh, whoever won that was going to be a deserved winner. Eugene Behrman certainly deserved his win. He'll remember that fight for a long time. Jeez, he had to dig deep, you know. The leg was in pain, but he uh, made Willie pay whenever he had it. Oh, that's right. You, you know, he had, he had to get... Well and truly through the pain barrier to, to win that. He did so and uh, yeah, won it in style. Fantastic.
Well, I really enjoyed that chat. Um, it gives you a bit of an indication of Eugene, uh, the man he was then, and uh, we follow his progression. We've got his first fight, and we go right through his career, and uh, we'll bring more of them, uh, of course, along the way. Yeah, for me, it was, uh, you know, I really enjoyed that fight. You could see it seesawing, but what really sort of uh, I could see was like, Eugene pressed his agenda, he pressed, he could see that he wanted to close him down, keep it in close and use those knees and he, and he pushed for it and he managed to bend the fight his way. And at the right times, so if you go back and watch that fight, you see, you know, the end of the rounds, he's getting the judge's eye, he ends the fight, he puts his hands up, it's all of that, all wrapped into one and that's just uh, what, what we always knew about Eugene is that he's a very intelligent fighter and it comes through in his fights. So, and, and Willie Lamb, like what I really enjoy about watching his fights, he's got it all. You know, you look at what he can do. He can throw some hands, he, can, he's, he had some straight rights there, his kicks, his movement. He's just so dangerous. Yeah, he had a, had a great career, did Willie, and uh, interesting enough, his uh, son was two years old then, Brandon, and now he's fighting himself. Actually, won a scholarship with Dan Hooker uh, ch to change from kickboxing into MMA. So I hope you enjoyed that fight, and uh, we're going to bring plenty more of them to you over the coming weeks. So until then, keep kicking. <laughs>